Artificial intelligence is here and it is awesome. Today we're going to be talking about chat GPT and how us inventors can use it to work better, work faster, work more effectively. So it's the fastest adopted technology of all time, 1 million users in five days. And there's a reason for that. It's sensational, it's remarkable. I've been using it for just a few weeks and already it's changed the way I do just about everything. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you a few ways you can use it. This is kind of like a, an introduction. Uh, there's going to be a series of videos on it. This one's kind of like an intro. We're going to focus a bit more on coming up uh, with ideas. I need one good idea every 20 seconds. I'm focusing on design and help with figuring out components, things like that. Um, the next video is going to focus on marketing, which is something all inventors need. I'm in marketing, Winston, the backbone of capitalism. Without it, you'd be dead in two days. And then the third video is going to focus on how it can help you launch your invention, how it can help you get your invention to market. Yes, <laughs> this is the swoot. So without further ado, let's have a look at ChatGPT. So I've come up with a list of questions I'm going to be putting into ChatGPT. Um, I have no idea what ChatGPT is going to say. Uh, we're going to be seeing the answers live. So um, let's jump right into it. We're going to start with something fun. Coming up with ideas. This is something all inventors love, right? It's, uh, it's a really fun phase. It's very exciting. And ChatGPT can come up with invention ideas for you. And what's really exciting is that you can guide it, you can give it feedback. Um, if it gives you an idea that sounds vaguely interesting, but it's a bit boring, you can say, add more pizzazz. If you wanna see it with some drone technology, say, add drone technology. So first question I've come up with, it says, uh, come up with three new and unique invention ideas for the toy industry. Let's see what it says. Enter. It's now thinking and voila, it's now coming up with invention ideas for us. So number one, a customizable robot building kit for kids that allows them to design and build their own robots with interchangeable parts and pro programming capabilities. Meh, that's all right. A virtual reality sandbox that allows children to create and manipulate 3D landscapes and environments using hand gestures and voice commands. That's pretty cool. An interactive storytelling plush toy that uses AI to respond to a child's prompts and questions creating a unique and personalized story experience each time it is played with. I really like that one. That's kind of like a uh, chat GPT in a toy. All right, um, well, let's give it some feedback. Um, so I think number one is the lamest. That's not, kind of already exists. Uh, so let's tell it to take number one and do something cooler. Take number one and add more pizzazz. thinking du, du, du. so what is added is this kit would also include a mobile app that allows children to control their robots remotely set up obstacle courses and compete against each other in vo virtual robot battles the robots could also be integrated with popular voice assistants such as amazon alexa or google assistant allowing kids to give voice commands to their robots and interact with them in new ways Additionally, the kit could include a VR headset that allows children to experience the world from their robot's perspective and complete virtual missions. Okay, now uh, I'm not saying you should stop coming up with ideas yourself and just rely on stuff from ChatGPT. Uh, this is an example of how ChatGPT can supplement and enhance what you're already doing. You know, we all have uh, blind spots, we all have preferences, we all have natural inclinations. ChatGPT might take you down paths that you haven't thought about before and it might help you introduce technologies that you're interested in but don't know much about to ideas you already have. So let's say uh, you're a toy inventor and you've been in the toy industry for 10 years um, but you're a bit of a traditionalist and there are all these newfangled technologies coming out and you'd like to have some ideas for how to implement them and let's say one of those ideas is uh, drone technology. Let's throw it in there and see how it comes up with. A toy drone that can, can be controlled by a mobile app and is designed for indoor and outdoor use. The drone is equipped with a HD camera and allows children to take pictures and videos while also performing acrobatic maneuvers such as flips and barrel rolls. 
The drone also comes with a set of attachable accessories such as a paintbrush or marker that allow children to draw or paint in mid-air. That's pretty cool. The mobile app includes a variety of games and challenges that children can complete using the drone, such as obstacle courses and virtual races. The drone also has a follow me feature that allows it to follow a child and capture videos and photos from different angles. Huh? That's pretty cool. So uh, that is a quick intro to what ChatGPT can do ideas wise. And you know, I'm focusing on toys here. You can give it any toy, um, you can give it any industry. Um, it can be something you're familiar with. It can be something completely new to you. Now let's go on to phase two, that's ideas. The next phase we want to look at is planning and development. Now, as an inventor, you often have to learn a lot about a lot of different things. Uh, as an example, let's say you wanted to become an inventor in the electric car industry. Now, there's an awful lot to learn there. There are a lot of moving parts to electric cars. It's a complicated industry. But let's say you're really passionate about this space and you want to enter it, but you don't really know where to start. Well, let's have ChatGPT take us into the electric car industry so we can start working there as inventors and uh, work to better the world and for profit if that's your get if that's your thing. An electric car is a vehicle that runs on electricity from batteries. Uh, th this is a bit basic. I want something a bit more inventory. That first explanation is a bit basic for me. I want something. This is better. So it's telling me everything that goes into an electric car. Number one, battery. And it's even telling me about the importance of the components and what they do. Electric motor, power electronics, charging system, electric vehicle control unit, inverter, electric power steering, regenerative braking, thermal management system, onboard charger. Now, if you were wanted to learn about electric cars before, you know, you'd have to go pick up a book, you'd have to take a course, you'd have to hunt around on Google, um, and it takes time. And you don't necessarily know that the information you're reading is relevant, and you'll often have to trawl through a lot of nonsense and a lot of fluff to get to the good stuff. ChatGPT synthesizes enormous amounts of information and gives you what you want very specifically. Now what's nice is that ChatGPT is a multi-tiered system. What that means is this is like a conversation. I can keep asking it questions based on what it's already given me and it's gonna remember our earlier conversation. So it's given me 10 points here. Let's say I already understand eight of them uh, to a fairly well extent, but two of them are new to me. Let's say I've never heard of inverters before. And then bibbidi bobbidi boo, it's gonna tell me all about inverters. And you can keep going with this. Uh, next, I could ask, what are the main companies that produce inverters? Um, I can ask, what are the problems with inverters? What are the advantages of inverters? Um, what are the opportunities uh, in developing inverters? You know, what are the challenges today? Um, and this is a great way to find opportunities for us inventors, um, areas to work in. I'm not going to read all that, but uh, it seems to have given me a, a good intro to inverters. And again, I can keep going deeper, keep going deeper. You know, it's given me all these uh, phrases here that I've never heard of before. Uh, voltage source inverter, current source inverter. Um, I can say, tell me more about that. And then it's going to go deeper. And then I can say, tell me more about that. And it's going to go deeper. And you can become an expert in an area very quickly. Um, and this is great if you're looking to outsource parts of your invention too, um, because it's going to let you speak with uh, freelancers and designers intelligently. Let's say you're building a, a smartwatch, a new smartwatch. You come up with a new feature and um, it, it's a, a feature with the, the interface, how you interact with the watch. Uh, but you personally don't know much about electronics and you're having to outsource that. And you're, the person you've outsourced it to is coming back with questions and they're like, oh, the, 
the thingy has this problem and that has this problem and he's using all these words you've never heard of before and you're thinking, ah, I have no idea what this guy is talking about. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? You can hop onto ChatGPT and have them have it explain them to you. And then you're going to be able to go back to that guy knowing what he's talking about. Or you could just have it tell, say, uh, tell me all the main components of a smartwatch. Um, why are they in there? Why are they important? Um, can I remove this? Is it essential? What's an alternative? Um, you can use it to supplement your design process and it's really powerful, really fast, and it's gonna give you loads of wonderful, relevant information very quickly. Um, you can also use it to source components. Now, um, here's a problem I had one of, with one of my previous inventions. In fact, I have it on the floor next to me. This wasn't planned. I'm just gonna lean over and grab it real quick. So this um, is a laptop stand for my Surface Pro. They didn't exist, um, so I built one. And it has a special type of hinge on it. Now, when I was doing this invention, I knew what I wanted. I wanted a hinge that had resistance, that it would open and it, it would hold its position. But I didn't know what that type of hinge was called. And there are a gazillion hinges in the world, um, all with different names and different features. So I was scrolling through Google for hours and hours and hours looking at all these different types of hinges and I just couldn't find the one I was looking for and it was very frustrating. Now let's say I'd had ChatGPT at the time, I would have said to it, what do you call a hinge that has resistance and can hold its position? This type of hinge is called a friction hinge. It's also called a torque hinge. Um, and then once I knew the name of the hinge, I could search for it specifically and I could learn about it. I could um, talk to manufacturers, I could source it, I could order samples, I could order them off of Amazon, Alibaba. Um, I could search for products that already have them and then buy those products and test them, see how they feel. So it's really useful for finding components you need, finding systems you need, even if you're not sure what they are, but you have a vague idea of how they should function or you know how they should come together just give chat gpt the information you have and let it figure it out for you and if it doesn't give you the perfect answer but it's slowly moving in the right direction keep giving it nudges like no that's not quite right what i mean is more like this and then it's going to say what well, like this this is really just the tip of the iceberg uh, you can go so deep with chat gpt it's hard to fathom just how useful this is and powerful this is until you get on there and start playing with it. Um, and you can have fun with it as well. The other day I had it come up with some jokes for me. I said, uh, come up with a joke that begins with how many inventors does it take to screw in a light bulb? And it came up with a pretty funny joke. I can't remember what it is now. Um, but yeah, you can have it help you with um, all sorts of areas. Of course, I'm focusing on inventing and business because that's what this channel is about. And that's my main um, area of expertise and passion. But uh, yeah, you can, you can get fun with it and you can get silly with it. Um, I'm gonna use one more example. Uh, this is actually an invention I'm working on now. I am working on a toy drone. I'm not gonna give you the specifics because it's a secret. Mm -hmm. While I know a bit about drones, I have, a, I say, let's say, a journeyman's knowledge. I'm not an expert, and I would like to know some more ways to stabilize a drone. So here goes. Let's ask ChatGPT and see what it comes up with. I'm building a drone, and it has stability problems. Tell me some physical systems I can apply to stabilize a drone. Propeller motor systems. Adjusting the speed or thrust of the propellers can help stabilize the drone by controlling its pitch, roll, and yaw. Gyroscopic stabilization accelerometer and magnometer, magnetometer. Damping systems, that's more interesting. That's kind of what I was looking for. Something physical I can apply to it, not like uh, programming new ways for it to opposite, um, operate. Damping systems can be used to dampen vibrations and movement in the drone's body, which can improve stability. These are the damping systems. Damping systems are used to reduce vibrations and movements in the drone's body, which can help improve stability. There are several different, there are several different types of damping systems that can be used in drones, including mechanical dampers, passive damping, active damping, hybrid damping. Mm. 
It's also worth mentioning that damping systems are commonly used in conjunction with control algorithms to improve the stability of the drone. The control algorithm can detect the vibrations or movements and send a signal to the damping system, which will then take action to reduce the vibrations or movements. This is gold, you know, I love this. Um, this makes my job so much easier because even if I don't implement these answers myself, let's say I still outsource this, now I know what to ask for. I'm not going on upwork.com or fiverr.com saying, I have a drone and I need help. Find me a, a, a drone expert, help me solve my problem. And then I'm giving them these vague explanations of, oh, my drone is wobbling and I don't know why, how do I fix it? I can go to him and say, I want you to come up with three active damping systems for this drone. That's specific, that's actionable. He's gonna have more respect for me, probably give me um, his best work because he's sensing that I'm someone who knows what I'm talking about. He's gonna give me a sensible price. It's gonna be easy to calculate how much time it's gonna take. Because um, when, you, when you go to freelancers, when you start outsourcing with vague instructions, um, you're often going to get vague answers. You're going to go around in circles for a while. You might not get the best results. If you can go in very specific, um, that's the way to do it. So yeah, that is a quick introduction to ChatGPT. Um, we've had it come up with some invention ideas for us. Um, we've given it feedback on those ideas and told it to um, you know, add in drone technology, make add more pizzazz. You, you can give it any instructions you want. Um, we've had it help with our research and development. Let's say there's a technology you really want to get into, like nuclear fusion, but you have no idea where to start. You can have it teach you all about nuclear fusion and synthesize our thousands, millions of hours of learning and give you the, the golden nuggets. You can have it tell you um, what are the challenges in nuclear fusion today. So it's telling you the areas that you can go to as an inventor um, that have the juiciest opportunities for advancement. Um, there, are, there are problems there that need to be solved. You can then have it say, uh, tell me 10 companies and entrepreneurs that are working on this problem today. And then all of a sudden you've got a list of contacts that you can reach out to too saying, hey, I'm an inventor. I'm working on this area. What are you doing? Tell me what you're doing. Um, can we partner up? Are there opportunities at your company? Uh, you can go so deep with it and it can save you so much time it is wonderful. So highly recommend getting involved. And uh, this is just the first in a series of videos. This is more of an introduction. Um, this is video one. Video two is going to be on marketing. This is something all inventors need, trust me. Uh, you don't wanna miss that one. It's hugely powerful. And then video three is going to be on how ChatGPT can help you launch your invention. Um, crowdfunding, licensing, venturing, investors, uh, a lot of people struggle with this phase. You know, they, they, they've got ideas, they've got inventions, they don't know how to get them out there. ChatGPT uh, can show you how, can be your guide. So that's today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next one. Take care.